So now we're going to look at the setup for the G0774. So prior to setup, you want to verify that your board's edge is properly straight. A lot of times the boards that you'll be using are already pre-cut, but don't always depend upon a pre-cut board to have a perfectly straight edge. You may need to run that edge through a joiner uh, prior to using it. So this is our infeed fence, so we'll want to go ahead and set our board solidly against that infeed fence and slowly run it forward. There's an adjustment on the infeed fence, which is this handle right here, and there's also a gauge on the opposite side, which we will want set at zero for the pre-setup. So then you want to feed forward the board so it makes contact with the striker plate to the spindle assembly. You want to make sure as we follow that forward that it is making contact with the plate and not the spindle. You want approximately one half millimeter distance between the spindle and the edge of the board. So if your striker plate isn't the proper distance, there is a 10 millimeter bolt on the back side here that will need to be loosened prior. And then a three millimeter cap screw that you take an Allen wrench here and make your adjustment. So by turning it Clockwise then we'll bring the plate further out away from the spindle assembly. Counterclockwise then we'll in turn bring it uh, closer to the spindle assembly. So now that we have our striker plate adjusted properly, I'm going to bring the board further forward so it's going to make contact with both the pressure roller and the stationary roller. In order to do that you have to apply pressure to the board because this pressure roller is spring-loaded. So as you press back then you want to basically just look straight down the line and make sure that it's making contact with your infeed fence, your striker plate, your pressure roller, and then also your stationary roller and that there's no gap in that line. So now we're going to talk about the edge banding tape. Prior to setup, we want to cut a small piece off of our edge banding tape here that we will use to place in the back of our infeed fence assembly. So I'm going to place this piece of tape right here in the very back of the assembly. And then I'm going to rotate that handle so it moves it back towards the tape. So it locks that in. And then you go ahead and lock your handle down. At this point, we want to go ahead and advance our tapes through the infeed guides here. And there are two adjustment screws right here and here. And we just want them just set just above the tape so it keeps the tape properly in place but doesn't uh, create any restriction in the process. So as I continue that through the infeed guide there. Now we're looking at the nylon feed rollers for the edge banding tape. This is the nylon roller and the rubber roller which is, is behind. The rubber roller is stationary and the nylon roller is movable. So you just grab the handle and move it to the right. That slides it out away where you're able to advance the tape through into the intake guide. So as I advance the tape forward, I'll go ahead and release the knob and then verify that this upper guide is just barely above the edge banding tape. So this is the adjustment knob for the seat assembly and it just adjusts this upper bar up and down and so you want it set so it's just just above the edge of the uh, edge banding tape. So it also will feed freely through the guide, but you want to make sure that there isn't any extra play in it. And now we're going to measure the thickness of our edge banding tape so that we can go ahead and set our flush trimmers accordingly. These are our dial indicators for our flush trimmers. We just took the measurement of the thickness of our tape, which was at 0.51 millimeters. On these dials, the furthest indicator to the right is in tenths. So here we see that they are both currently set at 0.51 millimeters. So the next thing we'll be looking at is making adjustment to our panel feeder. 
So we'll take a set of calipers, set them to millimeters, and measure the thickness of our board at which we're 17.86 millimeters. So here is our dial indicator and our crank handle for adjusting the height for our panel feeder. And we'll go ahead and adjust that down to 17.8 millimeters for the thickness of our board. So at this point, we want to make sure that the board lines up properly with the edge banding tape and or the edge banding tape lines up properly to the board. So as we bring the board forward, we want to make sure that you have the board centered on the edge banding tape. 